point of this one, our objective is to try to get the dogs to understand multiple doubles and not switch. And so this way, if they come flying by and they want to go to number two, I can step in, in the way of them. And if they do, we might have some problems with our recall and our delivery, so we might not be ready for two. But when, when we start to do these, the last thing I want to worry about when I'm setting up a big circle memory like I did before, the last thing I want to worry about is correcting on heel because it, it gets in the way of the, what the point of the drill is. So that's where that all the parts and pieces got to kind of be sequenced in, in line to be able to get to those. Nice loose lead, Dan. Loose lead. There. Maybe I'll scoot over. You guys good? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to scoot over. I want to see this double first. Nice loose lead. To you, get it to you. Your tone, your tone, your tone, your tone. There. It's all right. Now, now get it to you. That's it. Help her out. Help her out. Tell her she's good. Now get her calm again. Now regroup. Big difference in the graph. A lot more distracting. That's it. Put it away. Line her up, turn her around. Because when you send her, where is she get, where is she facing right now? Well, she's going to go the wrong way. So take a step forward to it, to, to the bumper with her. Now we're going to just recover out of this. And as soon as she looks to see it, send her. So heel her forward, heel her forward, towards the bumper, towards the bumper. Reach out, re make it real fluid. Reach out. Get her back. Good. That's all right. Get over there and praise her for it. That's it. So there's a lot of little things that can be fixed there to make that work. But with that one, because it's a lot, it's you know I would work on the singles and stuff quite a bit and get real good at those before I'm running doubles. I don't think there's anything wrong with that double. But with that one, when you do go to doubles, I'd speed it up where I'd pitch the bumper. I'd pitch the bumper, I'd send her. As soon as I got her back, I'd turn around and I'd help her out by taking a step or two. And the one thing you can help too with lining is going forward with your singles, be very, very particular on your how you line. And this is the way to start this. At home, what's your feeding look like at home? Um, Do you just get a bowl, set it down, let her eat? Or? Um, she, I've done what you've done. Yeah. That's going to help. That's going to help with lining. So. Get your bowl of food, set it down, make it as a remote steady. Come over and line it up and send it every time that way. And whatever your flow is, he lines, Jonah lines beautifully. So, because it helps that dog. See the focus on the dog? It just helps. Heel. Sit. Sit. So I want to line this way. So I help her. See that? It's just help because she, she wasn't sure what was going on. Where, where do you want me to look? And so by sending her to get it when she's facing the opposite direction is she'll never get that. So that can help at home just set up with food and line to food, line to food, line to food. Three days and the dog will go because it just connects it. Uh -huh.